and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are going to get you excited about grooving by the bay. And if you haven't been, you will want to go by the end of this conversation. <laughs> My guests are with Parks, Recreation, and Leisure, Marie St. Clair and Kavana Black. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> All right. This does not seem like your kind of music, Cabana. What, what is your connection with Grooving by? I know your music. Right, right, right. Not quite this genre. Right. Um, first of all, I'm so excited because I'll be the first official host for Grooving by the Yay. Day. Yes, That's yes. Wonderful. So I think uh, a lot of it is my energy and then the fact <laughs> yeah, that you, I you love might music. Have a little energy. <laughs> a little bit of energy. And I love music. I love all types of music and especially this type of music dealing with big bands and beyond. You know, it's the type of music that brings about every color culture together as one and so for me to be in an audience of people like that it makes me feel good and I'm just ready always ready so Groovin' by the Bay has been around now, Marie, for more than a dozen years, right? Right, exactly. And it happens where and when? It happens every Sunday from, when did we start? June 19th-ish to mid August. Mid-June to mid-August. Mid -June to mid -August. At? At Buck Row Beach and the main stage at Buck Row Beach, so you can't miss it. And the time of day? We start at 6 o'clock and we go to 9 o'clock. 6 o'clock sharp, too. 6 o'clock sharp. Mm -hmm. But you can come early and get yourself a good seat in the front so that you'll be ready to, to, to dance and have a good time. And it mostly is kind of a big band or beach music or an oldies sound, right? Well, I wouldn't say that because um, being there, you get to see something that I love the most. You can see a five-year-old to someone that's 80-year-old. And then the great thing is, like with Slap Nation, they do all types of music. Right. They did mm -hmm. Prince. They did Motown. They did beach and music. Motown is oldies, see? But it's a universal <laughs> But right. they did Prince. Right. They you know did universal I mean? oldies. They did um, uh, Uptown Funk. Uptown okay. Funk is now. Like, they yeah, made yeah. sure that they covered all their bases. They're, right. they're a very versatile oh, band. They just yes. not like for people to sit. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> they make it hard. Exactly. They want you to dance. They want exactly. you to dance. Mm -hmm. And then the horn section. I just love the fact that you Chicago get to see Deluxe. musicians. Yeah. You get to see them really play and get into it. And just to see everybody dancing and having a good time and then eating food and going to the beach and playing in the water. It's really made for people and family to have right. fun. I love it. Well, so I hadn't thought about, you know, if I go, I'm just going to be dancing the whole time. None mm -hmm. of this getting in the water thing. But, but it is, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock, and so it's the sun isn't beating down right, quite right, as much right. on you. Kids can be, you know, they're not going to get a sunburn. Exactly. It's a different Very time different. to mm -hmm. experience the beach that I didn't really think about. And that's right. important because mm -hmm. you certainly don't want to be there 3 o'clock in the afternoon with the sun beating yeah. down on you. So this 6 to 9 is great. Sun goes down, and then it is just perfect. Breeze from the water. Beautiful setting, wonderful music. And then the food. And then the food. Now, what and kind of food, food do y'all have? You know, I'm interested in the food. Oh, okay, well, for <laughs> sweets, we have Couture Cakes, which is cupcakes. They are all types of cupcakes. They're Every so good. Every type of cupcake it, I mean, it's really, really good. And then we have Seven City Sabrettes, who provide the drinks, the hot dogs, burgers, you know, everything that you want to eat. And just, it's really, really fun. Like, they got a playground out there. Um, you see the dogs out there. And then, of course, you know, with Buckle Beach, they're building it up. So there's beautiful houses all around it now. So it is such a it's becoming more of a community. I mean, there's a community at Buckrow. It just wasn't all the way at the beach. And, right. it's, mm -hmm. you know, kind of solidifying that into a really active, Definitely. vibrant mm -hmm. place to live. Family fun, and that's and, what yes. I like mm -hmm. about it. I think that it's very family focused okay, as far as that now, neighborhood. Yeah. Traditionally, when we say family fun, a mm. lot of people think that means moms and little kids oh, no. and it's not it's oh, multi-generational no. exactly. mm -hmm. exactly it's a very diverse kind of yes uh, family fun even yeah. me and my weird family you know we would fit in <laughs> right it's everybody literally it's everybody it's grandma it's granddad it's dad mom sister brother uncle cousin niece it's everyone right. and i think that's really what's missing because there's not a lot of activities out where the family can come out and feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then we mm -hmm. also have security there, which is great, too. Oh, yeah. So it reinforces, like, you're okay. Let your hair down. Have a good time. I like that. That's, that's pretty You cool. know, it's a positive. It's definitely a positive. Now, how is it different this year? And you may not be able to answer because I don't know mm. if you've been in there in the past. But how is it different this year having a host? What oh. does... Cabana bring to um, that crowd that I am so glad you asked that question 
What Cabana does is help everybody to feel comfortable, to get them ready for the good time that's about to happen. Um, he interacts with the, with the audience. Um, people come out of their shell because a lot of times when they come out, they're thinking that they're just going to sit and that's going to be it and they're just going to look. <laughs> but he gets people so excited and he brings people together. And I think that um, I've gone out to Groovin' by the Bay over the years. And what I liked about when, when Cabana hosts was that you, he encourages that party atmosphere. And you see everybody getting up and having a good time and he talks about the band so the band isn't talking about their self you know it's kind of awkward sometimes so he's introducing the band he can share some information about the band that maybe people didn't know um, he can remind people of what's going on for Father's Day we always try to do something special and this Father's Day we gave out free cupcakes to all the dads mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. to remind them and you know what was so surprising about that a lot of dads don't eat sugar. I didn't. <laughs> that, yeah, it was surprising. A lot of people don't eat sugar. I just I couldn't like, believe that. It's like, wow, but you know, we're changing to a healthy world, you know, which mm. is it, great. We are, so maybe But you can sure still eat your vegetables. sweet treats. That's right. <laughs> yes. Keep <laughs> it, make it a treat. Make it don't a treat. Don't do it all the time. Right. And then come out on the floor and dance <laughs> after you eat it. So mm -hmm. then you can just burn it right off. That's right. right. Well, that's the other thing I think. I've been to a lot of um, live music where everybody stands back. Mm -hmm. and waits for somebody else to be the first right. one on the dance floor because nobody wants to be the first one on the dance floor. You you encourage people to get out there. Don't wait until the end and have a good time. Oh, have yes. <laughs> and I jump off the stage and I go into True. the audience. Are you going to dance with me then? Uh, like, definitely. We did a soul train line. I mean, it was all good. Kids running up on me. I think that's the, the You're power. You're a kid, Mag. I'm a Peter Pan. That's what I am. <laughs> and that's what I want to continue to be. I want to be able to remind people to stay forever young. You don't have to allow. Because you're 21, right? I'm 21 and getting it. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want people to know that you can do whatever you want, but especially when the um, environment allows you to play and have fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you can't go places. Come. Sometimes you're looking over your shoulder. Right. You know, the world we live in, sometimes we feel so very unsafe. With this event, you can finally come and really just have a good time, kick back. That's why I love going to the movies, because for me, the movies is like kick back, watch it. But this at Groovin' by the Bay, you're able to be energetic. Get up, walk, meet somebody. Because you might meet somebody new that you might end up being a good friend. You That's never right. know. That's right. Okay, so Sunday's Buck Row starts at 6 o'clock. Starts at 6. Through mid-August. Through mid-August. So excited. We're going to go. You Please definitely got to go. Everybody come. Everybody. Yeah, just briefly, we will say that Parks and Rec has two other series this summer that is um, right. that both also very family friendly, but definitely. maybe a younger crowd, but for everybody also. Yes. Um, but the movies. Um, right. That's on and Tuesday. The, and even with the movies that we've chosen, I mean, I'm an adult, obviously, but I love every, Minions and. Especially the um, Minions, Alvin yes. And the Chipmunks and Peanuts. Yeah, so Peanut movie. It so is, you feel great like movies. you have to rent a kid when you want to go see one of those. Um, Fun kid movies, but if you go there, it'd be a great trip. Exactly. And then it's like a so campfire. It's like Tuesday Mill Point nights, Park. Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights at Mill Point. Exactly. And then storytelling in the park. That's yeah. on Fridays, every Friday at 10 o'clock at Bluebird Gap Farm. Bluebird Gap Farm. So lots of things to do this summer. Definitely. All free. All free. <laughs> F R E E. Free. You know, that's so important for families these days. It is. Because you want to be able to get the kids out of the house. Right. You want to do stuff with them. But it needs to be low cost. People exactly. People can't afford to pay admission fees all the time. And this is right. a great way to enjoy your kids, enjoy your parents. Exactly. And, um, and come out and have a lot of fun. Right, so take advantage of that. Exactly, the city cares about our families and offers these wonderful events. And even with the movie event, we have tie-ins. So if you come in early, we have NASA coming out to do a um, activity. We have the police department coming out to do an activity, a lot of different organizations. So you can come early, bring the kids, they can do some fun stuff. Um, even for the Peanuts movie, we have an artist Darius Tobin who is also an employee of Parks Recreation and Leisure and he's going to be leading the drawing activity so that's going to be a fun thing so just great stuff storytelling in the park great artists coming from all over Virginia just to perform for our Hamptonians okay that sounds great thank you so much thank look you. forward to seeing you there yes and thank you I hope to see you out at some of the fun family-friendly yes. events that we have planned for you this summer in Hampton. Thanks for watching.